So today I'm going to be covering something a lot of people have been asking for recently and that's Xbox 360. I've also had queries asking how to add XBLA games into Xbox 360 through Retrobat. So I figured I'd join both of these systems together or rather different game formats for Xbox 360 and just come up with a video for you and that's what I'm going to do. So in this I'm going to show you how to generate .m3u file extensions which we need for Retrobat. I'm going to go through a couple of different emulator selections that we got for Xbox 360 on Retrobat, some video settings and other bits and pieces so check this one out. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, hit notifications and subscribe. You don't want to miss my upcoming content on Retrobat and various other front-end systems that I release content for, such as Launchbox, Retroarch, Batacera, and beyond as well as lots of standalone emulators. So we're talking Xbox 360 games today and also XBLA games. XBLA games are obviously Xbox Live Arcade games. So what we need to do first then to get this going is if we just go into the Retrobat directory. So I always right click on this to go to open file location. That's your easiest option to get into the directory of Retrobat. And of course, if you want to add games and BIOS files and so on, it's very important that we get into this directory. So most crucially for Xbox 360 and Retrobat is BatGUI. So let's just open up BatGUI. Now, there's a couple of things I'm going to show you in this. So if we firstly go to system list and open up system, if you don't see this, check out my comprehensive setup guide for Retrobat. It's quite likely you're missing a couple of files. You might need to install Retrobat all over again. So let's get on with this. We're going to open up system. And if we go right to the bottom here, you're going to find Xbox 360. If we just click on this one, now your file extensions for this our .iso, which is a very common file extension for disk games. Uh, we've got .xex, .xcp, and .m3u. And like I said in the introduction, it's really the .m3u file extensions that we need to generate to get our games to show up through Retrobat. And I think that's where a lot of people is going wrong. So right now, we've got no cores for this, and don't think we've got any emulator set up either. So what I'm going to do is firstly... Close this down, and I'm going to close this down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just scroll down to ROMs. And inside of ROMs, right at the bottom, we have got Xbox 360. And of course, this is going to be empty. So I've got a couple of Xbox games, and I've got a main Xbox 360 game, which is a great racer. It was one of the early 360 releases, and I was very much hooked on this one at the time. And Project Gotham Racing 3 is so cheap to buy these days, literally a couple of pounds. So just extract your games, and you've got your file extensions through batch UI. So just convert to .iso, uh, which is a good way of doing this to get your games running through Retrobat. So we're going to just drag our games into that ROMs Xbox 360 folder. And I'm also going to drag my Rocket Knight XBLA game inside of here too. So inside of my XBLA game, we've got another folder inside with a series of numbers and letters. And again, and again, and this one just here, this is your main file. This is the actual game itself. And it doesn't look like it's a game, but it's a game. Okay, so let's open up Retrobat now that you put your XBLA games and your main 360 ISO or .xcx files into place. Let's open up Retrobat. Okie doke, so we are in Retrobat now and we can see Xbox 360 up here. So if we go inside of here, we can also find the game that I've just put in. But my XBLA game isn't here. So what I'm going to do first is just mainly go through Xbox 360 ISO images. And after I've gone through this one, I'm then going to show you how to get your XBLA games functioning. So first of all, with this one, I'm going to just go to Scraper. And I'm going to just scrape some artwork for this one just to bring it to life and give it a bit of character. Let's 
So again, if you're new to Retrobat and you're not sure what Scraper is, just check out that comprehensive guide and update game list. Yes. Okay, so there appears to be no artwork for Project Golf and Racing 3, which is fair enough. Not all games using Screen Scraper do have artwork. It's not the end of the world. So if we back out of here and if we head over to Retrobat icon, this is where we can download emulators rather than using cores, which uh, nowadays is a new feature, I suppose, to retro, but it wasn't always like this. So what we're going to do is look at the emulators we can download for our 360 games. So we've got Xenia and Xenia Canary. Now, personally, I prefer Xenia Canary. It seems a bit more compatible rather than the standard Xenia. So what I'm going to do is just open up Xenia Canary. And we need to install Xenia Canary, and you'll need to do this with the standard Xenia 2. So let's just install this by clicking on yes. And here we go. So this was now installed. And what we can do is just click out of this, and that'll bring us back to Retrobat. And you may as well just grab Xenia as well. So let's open up this one and also install this one too whilst we're here just as a backup not in all cases xenia canary is gonna have games working whereas xenia might so let's close this one down again now we're gonna go back to xbox 360 and we've got two of those emulators downloaded we just done xenia and also xenia canary so what i'm going to do is go to view options advanced system options emulator and here is our emulator so i'm going to select xenia canary and I'm going to leave everything on default. And let's open up Project Golf from Racing 3. And just remember, if you've got a lower end computer, then there's a good chance 360 games won't work. And if you get Windows Defender come up, just allow access and that will go away. So as we can see, that game's running perfect. And I also need to make you aware again that not all Xbox 360 games are going to work. So you might need to do your own research on what games are going to work and what's not. So let's clean up the Xbox 360 games, for example, Project Golf and Racing 3. So I'm going to do this by going to my View Options menu, Advanced System Options. And first of all, internal resolution is the one to use to really make your games look good. Now, I'm going to bump this one up to 1920 by 1080p on this one. Now, just be aware that the higher up you go on your internal resolution, the more lag you might potentially face. Now, vertical sync is another one really you need to be turning on. That's going to reduce screen tear. And if you go down to advanced settings and use visual rendering, anti-aliasing is a very good one to use. So we got two options here, FXAA or also Extreme. Now, again, just like internal resolution, if you put something like FXAA Extreme on, then it expects some lag. So I've already bumped this up to 1080p, so I think I might be pushing my luck. So I'm going to leave this one to auto. 
And if you've got a game which doesn't boot, it's always worth going down to drivers under advanced settings. If you go to video, by default, this one's going to be running through DirectX 12. But like I said, if a game doesn't boot and you know it should be booting, then just go down to Vulkan and select that. Generally, most of these will work fine just with leaving auto on. So let's boot up Project Gotham Racing 3 with these video settings applied. It might be a bit laggy, it might not, and it's a case of experimenting. I mean that's running fine so if you do bump your video settings up and you find games are still running fine then by all means go back into view options advanced system options and turn something like anti-alize into a stream and then it's just a case of trial and error so let's check this out again And as you can see, that's running perfect. But again, don't expect that sort of fluid gameplay for all your games. So what we're going to do next is just back out of here. And we're going to look at XBLA games. So as you remember from just now, I did drag a XBLA game, Rocket Knight, into my Xbox 360 ROMs folder in Retrobat. And we also noticed that Rocket Knight XBLA game didn't appear in Retrobat only Project Gotham Racing did. So what we're going to do in this case is go to Retrobat Shortcut, right click, open file location, and we're going to open up Bat GUI again, and this thing is now going to be your best friend. So, so what we're going to do then is go to M3U Creator, and what we need to do once we're inside of the M3U Generator is just go under the XBLA Games Path and you'll find free horizontal lines if you just click on that what we need to do now is find our retrobat folder which is pretty simple so it'll be retrobat very simple for me to find it might be different for you and what we're going to do is go to the roms folder and from roms if we just scroll back down to xbox 360 we're going to find it there all we need to do on this is just select folder and we're next going to press scan now, once it's scanned, you're going to find all those numbers and letters like I was talking about just now when we looked into the contents of the XBLA game. And you're also going to find under game name, this is just a load of numbers as well. Doesn't make sense. So what we need to do then is type into this the name of the game. Rocket Knight. And we're going to go to Generate M3U. So just left click on that. And you'll notice that the tick is now unchecked. So what we're going to do is go back into the Retrobat ROMs folder. So open this up, scroll back down to Xbox 360, and you'll notice we have now got a rocketknight.m3u up here, and that's cool, we need that. So what we're gonna do now is just close down the m3u, and again, and we're gonna open up Retrobat again. Okay, so we go into Xbox 360, and we've got two files in here. we got Rocket Knight appearing out, so that's awesome. So let's attempt to open up Rocket Knight, and we're going to be using either the Xenia emulator, which we downloaded, or Xenia Canary. So again, let's just open this one up with Canary. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to put my video settings to default, because we're not sure 
how this is going to work. So just turn everything off for now or back to auto. Let's open up Rocket Knight. As we can see that's working perfectly but you also notice there's a hell of a lot of screen tear in rocket knight so for this reason we need to go to advanced system options and if i can just let you know that if your xbla game doesn't boot up then it's worth restarting retro bat again that's what i've just done for this video and this time around once i booted back into retro bat my rocket knight game is running fine and i'm also using xenia for this particular game rather than canary like i was doing just a minute ago on project Gelfon racing so vertical sync now because of, there's so much screen terror in this one i'm actually going to turn this to on and internal resolution i'm going to bump right up to 1080p visual rendering i'm going to put this on fsx extreme again and let's boot up rocket knight again with these video settings applied So as you can see, there's still screen tear. So some games might be okay, some might not. Let's try this one through Xenia Canary. So if I switch emulators to Xenia Canary, leave all the video settings to how I had them just a minute ago, and let's open this one up again. So yeah, about the same performance, and that can't be helped. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it's not as uh, great as something like RPCSS3. So uh, like I say, and I'll continue to keep saying, just be mindful that not all 360 games are going to perform just as well as you think they might do. So next thing I'm going to look at very briefly in this is if you've got a game and it appears to be on trial version, what you need to do is just go down to advanced system options. And if you go down to emulation, you'll find license mask. And what you need to do is just select all licenses enabled and that should then take your game into the full game version. And that's about it. So that's it for my Retrobat Xbox 360 and Xbox Live Arcade setup guide today. I hope some of you out there is satisfied now you've got your Xbox 360 running on Retrobat. So if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit notifications and hit subscribe. And also be sure to check out my Retrobat playlist and my other playlists. Like I said in the beginning, I do a range of different front end setups as well as a range of standalone emulators. I've also got a new membership option where if you want a particular video uploading, that's going to be a part of the perk under the next level option. So be sure to check that out and I will literally take a look and pretty much cover most things. I don't stop until the job is done. So check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.